Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the other apostles and elders of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere arguments. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear the secrets are being revealed. No more lies. The, just truth. The mysteries. Remember, it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Look, the heavenly father and his only begotten son, who you eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, has revealed the mysteries, the secrets, the parables, the allegories of the Bible to a service to prophets. And I'm sitting here at all right about now. I mean, been in it for a couple of years. And I'm still at awe to the fact that I'm a Hebrew Israelite, man. This is this is exciting. This is still exciting to me. It it hasn't it doesn't get old, man. Finding out your nationality, finding out who you are, it was hidden. Alright? Your nationality was beaten out of you. Your heritage stolen. But now, what did the Lord say? Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing. See, the God of the Bible ain't going to come down here and tell you the mysteries. Or break down the secrets to you. Guess, guess who he's going to send to do that to? You know? But he revealed his secret and to his servants, the prophets. Now the service of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, starting off with the head apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down. And their elders... Before them, revealed the secrets of who we are, man. This is a big deal. I mean, it don't get no bigger than this. It don't get Israel. Unique roles, Latinos, and Native Americans. Do you not know? We, look, we know who we are now. Remember, we was lost, but now we're found. You know, look, look, Israel. We was lost, but now we're found, Israel. All these years later, Israel. All these years later. We're found. This St. John chapter 8. You know, I'm just, I'm just flowing in the scriptures, man. I was just sitting back thinking, man. Not even what to do a lesson on. Just sitting back think, thankful. And just sitting back thinking how much of a blessing it is. Look, we, we actually know who we are, man. We're not walking around calling ourselves black, African American, Latino, Native American. No, according to the Bible, we're the biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. What has made us free mentally and spiritually? The truth. Remember, one and one equals what? Two. That's the truth, man. All right? No one, once you receive the truth from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, no man on earth can take it from you. You know, no one can deceive you anymore. Remember, Lord Yahweh Shai said in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, let no man deceive you. We're the biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, and it don't get no better than that. Let's, let's get this right quick. Give, give, give us proof. We want proof. Well, here's the proof right here. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad. And that's talking about the Israelites. Okay? And let's prove what the Spirit is. What spirit? What spirit? What spirit prove that y'all the Israelites? What spirit? Tell me. Tell me now, St. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened it. Remember, we just read in Romans, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Yasha Allah. Let's prove what the spirit is, right? St. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. See, see, the scriptures say, don't judge by appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So you might have a Hebrew Israelite that look like these other nations, 
but the spirit bear witness who he is or what she is, man. All right, not the not the appearance, right? Saint John chapter six, verse sixty-three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profit of nothing. And the word quickeneth means to make alive, right? L -l Listen, the words that I speak unto you. The, remember the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. And they are life. So this word bear witness who we are, man. This Bible bear witness who the Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, on the face of the earth are who right now. And I'm very excited, man. I'm still excited about finding out who I am. Some people find out who they are months later, years later. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying, no. You're the greatest people on the face of the earth. When Yahweh Bashim Yahweh created us, he was happy, man. And of course, he was happy to create these other nations to be our servants. The secrets, the mysteries have been revealed. Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations. Remember, we went a long time without knowing who we were. A, look, a long time, Israel. Uh, it was a long time coming, Israel. This, this is this is what you would call mercy right here, right? You know? This is what you would call compassion. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai giving us our nationality back, letting us know who the hell we are. And then on top of that, gave us the, the proper names in the Hebrew tongue, the high holy names in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. The Heavenly Father gave us his name and his only begotten son name, man. Eh? Once again, Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. And look, and, and on top of that, along with that, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, look, by way of the prophets. Because remember, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. We know who the Edomites are. We know who the Hamites are. You know, the Ammonites. You know, the Jephites. You know, Elam. All of them, man. You know, Moab. We know it now. The truth has set us free. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages. Remember, it was a covering cast over all nations. Every nation had been given proverbs and bywords. You know. But now, the mysteries that would have been hid from ages and from generations... But now it's made manifest. The word manifest means to make known to his saints. Who are the saints? Look, can you, can you, can you dig it, Israel? We know, look, Israel, we know who the saints are now, according to the Bible. Look, and we can prove it according to the Bible, Israel. Can you dig it, Israel? So he's going he gonna to reveal the mysteries into his saints, right? Let's prove who the saints are, according to the Bible, man. This is Psalms. Let me see. Bear with me. Just, just bear with me. I'm going to get this. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. Matter of fact, I started on um, 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people. His people. The whole time it was us, his people. The praise of all his saints. Remember? Remember? The mysteries was, was manifest to the saints. The praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. Who are the saints? The Israelites, right? A people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. So, so, see, you see, you see, you can never stop the truth. Remember, the truth shall set you free. Remember, lying lips is but for a moment. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. We got wicked rulers ruling the earth right about now. That's, that's why you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't know who the hell you are. You know? Worshiping Kemet, worshiping Allah, worshiping Buddha. You know the drill. Worshiping, worshiping everything up under the sun except for Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad, right? But what did the Lord say? The earth is given. See, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, those are our forefathers, man. All right? 
Moses, Noah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all the prophets of the Bible, those are our forefathers and our foremothers, man. It was us the whole time, man. You know, it was us that got led out of Egypt. But let's get this though. The earth is the, the earth is given unto the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not where? And who is he covering the face of the heavenly father, the only begotten son, and their people, man? Alright? Whitewash. Remember, remember iconoclasm? The defacing of an image. But it was so many pictures and different relics and all that. Look, you, you couldn't possibly w wipe everything whitewash. Look, the Lord won't want to allow it anyway. All right? So he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Once again, the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the Israelite man. Those are the judges of the earth. So every picture that you look at, they got the Heavenly Father looking like a so-called white man, the only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, looking like a white man. All the twelve look like so-called white men with long, long, doggy, stringy hair, like a bunch of um, people from the group Led Zeppelin. But now all those lies are being destroyed. Truth destroys lies, right? Truth destroys lies, man. Let's get this Baruch right quick. Truth destroys lies every time. Not even Baruch Maccabees. Salakia. Truth destroys lies, man. It was us the whole time. And it's mind boggling. Remember, they, remember in Psalms 83, they said they're gonna uh, put out the name of Israel from, from off the from off the earth, pretty much. You know? That the name of Israel may be in no more remembrance. That's what the heathens did. And all that is being revealed now. First Maccabees chapter 1. It's like it. First Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, which is the Bible, wherein the heathen, these different nations, mainly Esau, Edom, Sleza, Eve, has sought to paint the likeness of their images. Now you open up the Bible, you'll see what pictures in there. Their images. You know? Look at the movie, The Ten Commandments. They painted the likeness of their image. Look at Charles Hessen playing Moses. Moses don't look like that according to the Bible. You know? Then they might have some Chinese people scattered out in the background or whatever. They might have one black dude. When the children of Israel was men of color. People of color, man. But they whitewashed it. But look, look, look at the picture that you're looking at now. Afros. Big beards. Jakes, man. First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. And look, all them lies being put to shame now. All them lies are being put to shame. Everything they did. Everything that they did was for the truth. Let's get this, since I mentioned that, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, because it revealed, you know what I'm saying, by them whitewashing, you know what I'm saying, the defacing of an image, iconoclasm, by doing that, they, they reveal who they are. They reveal that they're the wicked, according to the Bible. Because the scripture says exactly, they was going to do exactly that, said so the wicked was going to cover the faces of the judges thereof, man. Huh? And most definitely, they're trying to get away from this. Of course, they're trying to get away from these scriptures, man. Could these scriptures condemn them? You know? Look, look, truth shall remain, not lies. Let's, let's read that again. Let's read that one more time. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. And you know this truth was hidden for a long time, man. A long time. We didn't know who we were according to the Bible. Now we have been set free spiritually and mentally, man. And Lord willing, soon come physically, man. All right? Let's get 1 John right quick. 
them lying like hell, that helped us out in the long run. Let us know, the Lord let us know exactly who they are. This is 1 John chapter 2, verse 21, and it reads, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it. And that no lie is of the truth. No lie is of the truth. Remember, lying lips is but for a moment anyway. Lying lips is but for a moment anyway. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 34. But judgment only shall remain. Now, now, now we're coming in the time where these heathens are going to get judged for their actions now, right? But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand not lies remember no lie is of the truth truth shall stand and faith shall wax strong man and now that the hopeful elect is coming back to you how about shimmy you see you see things showing up happening on the earth man this this place is crumbling babylon is crumbling man you know the lord's starting to send those plagues those ancient plagues that he sent on ancient Egypt to modern day Egypt, modern day Babylon, aka America, man. All right, this place ain't gonna be here too much longer, man. It said the scripture say, and this gospel gonna be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then shall the end come. Well, this gospel been preached already by way of the internet. We just waiting on the end now. But before the end come, the Lord said He's gonna reveal everything, man. Say the mysteries that was hidden from all kind of ages and different generations shall be made manifest, shall be declared upon the earth, man. And that's what you see going for all, all this edification, all these different videos, man. You know? Psalm chapter 31, verse 18. Let the lion lips be put to silence. Remember, they covered the faces of the judges thereof. They said they was us. They can look, and then on top of that, they say we was three fifths of a man. We the greatest people created on the face of the earth, and they say we three fifths of a man. Are you are you serious? Are you are you serious? Are you heathens serious? Sleazy E, are you serious? You call us three fifths of a man, and you and you the you the basest people on the face of the earth, man. You the most low down, crookedest people. You know what I'm saying? non-believing people on the face of the earth man let the lion lips be put to silence we speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous that they, they had a nerve to say they they israel they israelites you know are, are you serious man they said they was the jews right but it was really us the whole time. And, and being a Jew just coming from one tribe, Judah. What about what what are the other eleven tribes at? That's inquiring minds want to know. If y'all don't people, look, look, what what King David at? You know? Matter of fact, let's 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 go let's go back a little bit further. Where's the Lord at? Where's Lord Yahweh Shai? Alright? Because the Lord said once his people get back over in that land, he's gonna be there with them. King David gonna be over there with him. It's gonna be peace over there. You know, no more war, no more nothing. Everything's going to be in order. Look, look, if, if y'all are the people, why why aren't the laws written in your inward parts? Why aren't y'all keeping the laws perfect? Where the new bodies at? Come on, man. Let the lion lips be put to silence. We speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous, man. All right? Remember, lion lips is but for a moment, man. You know? Proverbs 12, 19, the lip of truth shall be established forever. See, truth is going to be established forever, right? But a lying tongue, and remember, he's the former of it, you know? The scripture says, soon they come out the womb, they speak in lies, you know? They ain't talking about literally when they come out crying and all that. No, when they get up to an age to where they can talk, the first thing they start doing is lying, right? But let a lying tongue, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. So they had their rule to where they was lying, throwing out lies throughout the four corners of the earth. Now we're at the end of it, man. Lying lips is but for a moment. It said truth shall remain and faith shall wax strong, you know? But you can't tell the average Negro, Latino, or Native American any of that. 
because they they believe in this devil, right? You know, Proverbs thirteen five: A righteous man hateth lying. All right. They said there was us, Yasha Allah, the whole time. A righteous man hateth lying, man. But a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. So now these people are being put to shame, man. All right? For all the lies that they told all these years, man. Now the Lord is starting to put them to shame now. Everything is starting to be revealed. All their lies. You know, oh yeah, the scriptures say the earth shall help the woman. The earth is starting to help the woman, man. Who's that woman? Israel. Yasha Allah, man. And it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. That the Lord is revealing everything about these criminals, man. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of power. Who's the mystery of iniquity? Esau Edom, right? At one time, it was a mystery who the wicked was. You know? They was already ruling back, back in Rome time, right? When the Lord was on the scene. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Remember they said that was us. And now that wicked is being revealed, man. All right? The people that's actually ruling the earth, they're the wicked, man. According to the Bible. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei, our Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Who's the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son? The prophets. Starting off with the head apostles, the elders of great millstone, and the men on down. All right? You know? That's the mouthpiece of the Lord. Right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because you know the Lord coming back with the chariots. You know? The multitude of angels with the evening called UFOs, man. They blaze this devil up, man. Even him. Look, look, even him, this devil, the wicked, Esau, Edom, who's coming is after the working of Satan. Meaning the adversary, right? Look, with all power and signs and lying wonders, man. You know? So, so Sleazy E is really the physical kind of partner of the spiritual demon Satan, man. They, they do the bidding of the spiritual demon Satan, man. Lying. Stealing, thieving, you know, and look, and they have been revealed. See, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, this is what's going to keep us stable. I was just sitting back, man. I know I'm all over the place with these scriptures, but I was just sitting back through the spirit of hell, but I was just thinking how, how much of it a, a blessing it is to, to have your nationality back. After it was stolen, after it was beaten out of you, man. And for the Lord, they have given it back to you. Remember, the Lord revealed his secrets unto his service, the prophets, man. So every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, and Mo is not going to break down these scriptures like we do, man. You know? But I ain't going to beat a dead horse, man. Look, everything is being revealed. All the whitewashing, all the iconoclasms, all the bywords, the proverbs, all that nonsense, all these years, man. The Lord is, is finally revealed who we are. Remember, truth shall remain. The Lord going to have his servant speak the truth according to the Bible, man. Not lies. And that's what's going to set you free. Shalom.